friends uh, welcome to lecture number 19 uh, this is uh, exclusively on border irrigation design so in the previously uh, previous lectures we have been talking on uh, furrow irrigation system and furrow irrigation system design so in this lecture we'll focus more on border irrigation okay so and then uh, its design basically so uh, in furrow irrigation, if you remember, uh, you, uh, your depletion phase and resistance phases were uh, neglected. So, in border irrigation, we are going to uh, consider those uh, two phases uh, in addition to advance and uh, storage phases. So, here if you see, uh, so it can be a, a free drained or diked uh, borders. So, free drained just like in furrows. So, there is a no obstruct obstruction at the end of the uh, or tail end of the uh, field. Uh, if there is an obstruction, so that means that means you are uh, diking, diking the furrow so that you can store water in the uh, in the border or furrow uh, for the couple of hours. So, so that is the one thing and uh, design of free drain uh, borders is similar to your design of free drained furrows. So, you are uh, designing a free drained borders. So, that is same as free drained furrows we have uh, designed before. So, except uh, in border design, so the depletion and descent phases we are they are significant because the flow which is uh, uh, going from in you know, a head end to tail end this is this has like a wider uh, flow. Uh, width is really uh, traveling from one end to other end. So, definitely the uh, depletion and resistance phases will have a significant role in this. And the design of diagonal borders is similar to the design of basins. So, the basins uh, if you uh, remember correctly, so at the end there is a dike. Okay. So, so that uh, the, the water which is uh, coming into the field will be first uh, you know stagnant here, then after that there is a head gate to the next field. So, that is that is what the basins. So, these are the basins. Okay. So, uh, so dike borders design will be similar to the, the design of basins. Okay. So, if you see this picture, so clearly, so this is the field. Okay. So, this is the field and uh, this is exactly after uh, cut off. Okay. So, when you cut off, so the water surface will be here right. So, or at the starting of the depletion phase and this is at the end of the this is a tail end and this is a head end okay. and the water is moving from this end to this end. So, this is the field and at the end of uh, cut off so the water the storage water have or has in this kind of uh, profile water uh, profile so uh, when the water level start depletes from uh, from top to bottom here then the recession is going to start and depletion phase ends so this line indicates the water profile or water surface at the beginning of uh, recession phase. Okay. So, uh, before recession, so you have this much of water which is standing on the surface. So, during depletion phase, so this amount of water needs to go as runoff as well as as well as infiltration. Okay. So, this thing and uh, remember here, so this is the same kind of so this piece of information so the depletion phase and the recession phase this is only re recession phases so this is in the beginning of recession phase this is the water surface line and this is the field uh, uh, slope okay and then so here what we assume is so the water level falls uniformly like this say um, like down downwards so you get this profile and the next time interval you get this profile right at this profile so like that it is going to deplete it down okay so 
here we call this is y l this is water depth at the uh, field sub uh, field end and water depth at the field end. So, if this is the slope right s y is the uh, slope of the or uh, the water water levels hold slope and s naught is the field slope. So, s naught and s y is the same in case of uh, you know uh, recession phase. So, then if this is L, okay, so this is L. So, S uh, sorry, if this is L, you get Y L is equal to S Y into L. Okay. So, let us see some uh, assumptions uh, we need to consider in the design of border irrigation. Okay. So, the border irrigation design. Uh, there are some assumptions. So, the first thing is surface water profile at TCO cutoff as well as TD uh, during uh, uh, depletion phase and at the beginning of uh, recession phase or straight lines. So, we have seen that the water surfaces, uh, this, this is the field, okay, the water surfaces are all straight lines we have seen, okay, depletion phase at the end of uh, recession phase, all are. Uh, straight lines. And then during T D, so during depletion phase, so the depth Y L which is at the tail end and the runoff Q R at the tail, tail end runoff at the downstream end remains constant. Okay. So, during depletion phase what happens suppose uh, this is head end, this is the tail end and this is the profile at the uh, beginning of depletion phase. Okay. So, here uh, in the and uh, in the end of okay, so in the beginning of I mean from starting of depletion to end of depletion. So, here uh, the Q R which is runoff right and the depth y r y l. So, both will be constant, okay. We are not changing the y l and q r. So, they are constant that is another assumption. And second, and third is uh, during both uh, depletion and uh, recession time, sum of infiltration and QR remains equal to pre cutoff until uh, pre unit uh, pre cutoff unit inflow rate Q naught. So during uh, both TD and TR, okay. So the infiltration I and QR, which is QR, so which which remains equal to pre cutoff unit flow rate which is Q naught okay, pre cutoff just in the at the uh, starting of cutoff. So, that is Q naught. So, Q naught which is equal to Q or okay, plus I. Okay. So, this is another assumption and the fourth one is the time required from TCO time of cutoff to the uh, end of TD. So, uh, depletion end is equal to the time required to remove a triangular volume of length L and uh, Y naught height and constant rate Q naught through both infiltration and runoff. So, so here the same if, if this is the uh, you know field and uh, the time required from TCO. So, suppose if this is the uh, in the beginning of depletion phase and at, at the end of depletion phase you get this kind of profile we have seen. Okay. So, the, these are profiles. So, e equal to the time required to remove. So, what the meaning is? So, this is the time required to remove the triangular portion of the border. So, that it will be. So, if this is y naught okay, and this is L. So, the triangular portion. So, y naught depth into L by 2 okay, that is a square root. And, uh, and if you are dividing with Q naught, so that will give the time to uh, to uh, deplete this triangular portion, and plus the TCO, okay. So TCO plus Y naught into L by two, and divided by Q naught, okay. And this will give the time to deplete. So depletion time. So depletion time is nothing but from time of cutoff to the time required to deplete this 
triangular portion ok. So, this is ok. So, and then uh, finally, the beginning of T r it is assumed that the depth changes with uh, distance at uniform rate over entire length of border which is which can be expressed as. So, this one this is this is you know. So, if this is uh, your field and then uh, so at the beginning of uh, beginning of recession phase. So, this is a triangle. So, the slope suppose uh, this is this is the slope slope S y right and this is S naught. So, here so this y l if this is l. So, y l which is equal to S y into l ok S y into l. So, these are the assumptions with these assumptions. So, let us see uh, um, uh, what equations we need to consider for design of uh, border irrigation. So, where uh, in the previous equation if you uh, see, so y l is the function of q r and time uh, at time d t uh, t d uh, can be valid as follows. So, q r which is the runoff uh, rate during runoff rate during depletion phase. So, that will be equal to q naught uh, which is the inflow prior to cutoff time and infiltration rate and L okay, so is equal to Manning's equation you remember that. So, q r so this we, we have seen one of the assumptions. So, the, the q naught which is equal to q r plus i. So, that assumption we, we already made. So, the same equation if you bring it down q r the runoff at the tight tail end which is equal to q naught minus i l this is infiltration rate and i ok. So, so the infiltration rate over length l ok i over length l and that is equal to uh, this is a into v right a into v. So, where v is Manning's equation from Manning's uh, uh, you know equation to measure velocity v ok. So, for borders what happened so, a is equal to y because the width is you know uh, infinity, infinitesimally small right. So, infinitesimally small here the borders compared to four rows. So, that is why uh, the depth will be considered as a unit. So, then a is equal to y into uh, is the unit 1. So, that is area of cross section you get and better perimeter is 1 ok. And therefore, so here a, so that means per unit uh, width we are we are talking. So, per unit width of so this is the border right, if this is the border a flow is like this right. And suppose this is the uh, y, okay. So this is the y. Y is the flow depth. So this is the flow depth, and y multiplied by so uh, uh, y multiplied by you know the uh, width, okay. So width is unit width we are considering. So for border a equal to y and wp weighted parameter is equal to 1. So, therefore, r equal to a by p ok which is equal to y by 1 right or y by wp let us say. So, then r equal to y. So, but y we know that y equal to s y into l ok and uh, i is the average infiltration rate over p uh, over length l. Okay, so, then S y becomes, so S y becomes uh, if you bring everything down. So, q naught into i uh, into l which is equal to a. Okay. So, now a goes here. So, a so substitute. So, q naught minus i l is equal to y into r is y again 2 by 3 s naught for half by n ok and this is S L uh, sorry uh, this is S naught ok. 
So, then uh, uh, we have y is equal to s y by l. Okay. So, then substitute s y by l for y and you will get this equation okay, s y is equal to which is the uh, uh, water surface slope uh, 1 by l into q naught minus i l into n power 3 by 5 by 16. So, like that you get and i can be expressed as mean infiltration rate in the upstream end that is i t d and the downstream end i t d minus t l. So, I if you are remembering, so suppose this is uh, T L sorry uh, T D. So, then uh, T L. So, at this position so head end it is a uh, total cut off uh, total uh, uh, cut off time plus the depletion time. So, total this is the total depletion time whereas, here this is the T L. T L is the advanced time. Okay, this is the advanced time. So, the infiltration which is taking place here, the distance is here, let us say I 0 and here I, I n I L. Okay. So, now you can estimate the total or average infiltration uh, beneath the soil. Okay. So, that uh, so, what is the opportunity time here? So, the opportunity time is the difference between the T D and the, the T D and the advanced time. So, I is equal to you can put the cost of equation A k by 2 T D 1 minus L plus you get this one. Okay. This is the infiltration rate and Walker and uh, Scoresburg uh, provided an equation for estimating the resistance time. So, this is equation for finding out resistance time in border irrigation. So, resistance time is equal to depletion time plus. So, this equation. Okay. So, this equation this will uh, be used to find out the time required during uh, resistance time okay. during depletion to resistance. Or, or during recent phase, you can say. Okay. So, based on the little bit information we learned, so let us see the step by uh, step procedure for uh, design of border irrigation. Okay, for a free drained case here. So, uh, first information just like in, in case of furrow irrigation. So, we need to collect the field information, okay. then uh, find out the uh, non erosive uh, flow rate. Okay. So, once you find out non erosive flow rate, you uh, assume a flow rate nearer to that flow rate. Okay. So, then with that, uh, now find out how many you know furrows or how many borders required for existing you know field based on the source of water available. Right. So, then uh, uh, based on that, you will be knowing the uh, advanced times, you know, resistance times, depletion uh, times, okay, storage times. Then uh, you'll be finding out the efficiency. Okay, so then based on a particular, I mean, maximum efficiency, right? So you will be uh, knowing the particular, you know, optimum set of, uh, you know, number of furrows in case of furrow irrigation number of borders in case of number of uh, border irrigation and then uh, uh, and irrigation efficiency and time of cut off okay, and, uh, and then the discharge. So, all these things can be designed uh, similar to your furrow irrigation. So, let us see the first information here is the field information, uh, field characteristics and crop and water supply. And then second is the determine the maximum, so Q max and Q min in case of uh, border irrigation. So, and then, uh, so there are two equations for finding out the Q max and Q min. So, you can uh, in order to find out the non erosive velocity. And then third step is to select unit flow Q naught which is uh, between Q naught and uh, Q min. Okay. So, once you have this Q naught which is selected in between Q max Q min. So, you can find out uh, what is width of border and number of borders. Okay. 
So, with the border is equal to total capacity you have and the capacity I mean cap, uh, the discharge you calculated in between. So, so, you have so much of water now you are dividing the water into different parts to uh, irrigate borders. So, how many? So, this is the width of a border you get. So, then uh, the number of borders will be equal to see the total field width divided by the width of each border will give the number of borders. Okay. So, this is the third uh, step once you have number of borders and you are going to compute the inflow depth. So, why not using this equation. Okay. So, depth at y naught. So, compute the inflow depth at inlet y naught. So, that is y max. So, using Manning's uh, equation and then compute tau required. This is opportunity time just like in case of furrow irrigation. So, we we are going to use Kosciakov uh, modified Kosciakov equation and calculate tau required based on the z required. Okay. So, you, you knowing the z required value you can find out tau required. Okay. So, then uh, the sixth step is compute the time of advance to end of border T L using the same procedure used in the furrow irrigation design. Okay. So, tau required then uh, and uh, uh, time to reach border end. So, that uh, you can use Newton Raphson technique okay. and then compute time of resistance T R. So, once you know T L right and tau required. So, that will be T R right. Uh, time of recession and compute the depletion time. So, this is the uh, total uh, recession time and how to compute the de depletion time T d using Newton Raphson technique again. So, in this, so we are going to assume the initial guess T d right as same as T r okay. and then compute infiltration by uh, substituting uh, T d is equal to T d i. Okay. So, then you have to substitute that uh, in, the, in that equation. So, so once you uh, have substituted that the T d because which is T r you have calculated that is initial guess. So, then i is equal to a k. So, this formula you know uh, the modified question of infiltration rate equation and then you are going to compute S y using this equation we discussed and compute new value of T d. Now, T r is equal to this is this is a T r in the sense it is not T r recent time this is just just a, a T r. Okay. So, then T d plus this okay. and T d the new value which is equal T r minus so this okay. fine. And then you are going to compare this with the, the, the initial guess. So, if this T d and the previous initial guess is close, then you are going to stop it and that is your T d. Okay. Otherwise, you have to uh, update the new T d, the new initial guess and then uh, follow these I mean, steps. So, and the compute the infiltrated depth in the border inlet. So, once you have T d, and you will be once you have uh, I mean T d computed right. So, you can find out z required here z required at time T d okay, depletion time. So, that you get z required okay, uh, so sorry here you are going to get z required. So, at this point you will be calculating what is z required. Uh, what is uh, in total infiltration depth at the head end during the T d. Okay. So, the next once you have computed the z require uh, z naught right. So, z naught at the field end uh, sorry uh, z naught at the head end and z required uh, at the field end. Okay. So, if z naught is greater than z naught is greater than uh, z required and you are, you are okay you are okay. So, but if z naught require uh, uh, z naught is less than z required 
So, that means the irrigation is deficit okay, and you need to increase the time of cutoff. Okay. So, so that so still there is an opportunity to go uh, I mean this uh, water go down into the next phase I mean uh, into the soil. So, that the Z naught will be more than Z required or equal to Z required. So, then once that is done the compute time of cutoff and uh, the uh, application efficiency is using this. So, time of cutoff equal to uh, depletion, uh, depletion phase you got minus y naught into L by 2 into Q naught. Okay. And similarly, uh, the application efficiency is estimated using this equation. So, in the case of deficit irrigation, so increase the time of cutoff and compute the new T r values as follows. So, in case of uh, as I mentioned in case of if you achieve this one, you increase the time of cutoff and then so first and then you uh, compute T c o right by substituting the tau required in place of T d. Okay. So, uh, so T c so initially you have T d plus T c o plus y naught plus L, uh, L by q naught. So, this is now you replace the you find the new value for T d and then compute the average infiltration by substituting T d is equal to tau required okay. and then the C then compute S y then compute T r. So, the same steps you have to repeat in the previous and Z L okay. and then compute E A right? and check water availability uh, constraint and repeat steps 4 to 12 for other unit uh, inflow rates choose the design which gives the maximum E A. So, for 1 Q naught you follow all these steps right? and find out E A and then the other flow rates also you find out E A's. So, uh, and uh, uh, without uh, you know going beyond the uh, non erosive flow rate and you have to pick a particular you know uh, application efficiency which is maximum and the corresponding you know inflow rates and time of cutoff and other things. Okay, there is a design problem. So, the design uh, uh, border irrigation system with the following conditions. So, field length is given uh, field width and longitudinal slope S naught and soil texture uh, design uh, irrigation requirement 5 centimeter. So, that means, Z required. So, that is that is we expecting at the field end if the field. So, we expect here at the field that is a Z required uh, that is a 5 centimeter and shape parameters row 1 and row 2 is given infiltration parameters the Kosciuszko infiltration parameters are given and available uh, supply rate Q that is the maximum capacity of water available and supply duration 12 hours. So, 12 hours uh, we need to supply. Uh, so, this is the information given. So, the solution is uh, pretty quick. So, here first thing is to determine so, to de de determine the maximum uh, so, q max and q min using the formulas we have uh, given. So, the q max you get 0.563 and q min 0.252 okay. and q naught uh, within the range q max and q min. So, we have to select a q naught between these two. So, considering the unit flow rate a q max so 0.563 uh, uh, resultant border uh, border width if you consider this q max. So, border width will be 88.77 and number of borders will be 6.75. So, these are these are not integer values. So, we need to uh, adjust these values. So, let us see. So, the different combinations we need to consider. So, if you consider 6 borders and border width 100. So, total will be 600 uh, width that is matching 600 uh, meters okay. and then the unit flow rate would be 0 0.5. Okay. So, if this is 0 0.5 then 600. So, this is one combination similarly another combination the third combination fourth combination these. So, we are going to check these uh, four combinations and uh, and 
if you see the non erosive flow rate. So, the 0.5 is uh, we have to, we have selected which is in between. Okay. So, with 0 0.5 let us compute uh, the inflow depth okay, inflow depth at, uh, that is y naught using Manning's equation. So, this is what uh, you get inflow depth at the inlet y naught. Okay. Uh, y naught value should be less than the uh, ridge height. So, this once you uh, uh, get the y naught let us see what is the ridge height here. Okay. So, the because it is a border right. So, the y naught should not be more than ridge height otherwise it is going to run off. Okay. So, that is uh, or, or it is going to come back or recede back. And then the fourth one is compute tau required. So, tau required uh, we have explained the procedure in case of follows. So, that you get this and compute time of advance the similar procedure you can follow in and, uh, and compute once you have tau required and tau L and you can estimate T r uh, which is equal to sum of tau required plus advance. Okay. And then uh, the next is with uh, we have to find out the depletion time. Okay. So, the depletion time we look at this compute depletion time. So, using Newton Raphson method. So, first assume the initial guess for T d as T r. So, that is 220 and compute the average infiltration by substituting this uh, T r. So, this is your average infiltration. Okay. Then, uh, when once you substitute all the values uh, you get average infiltration is like this and compute S y we have formulas find out S y and compute the value of T d and T d plus using the equation below. So, so once you have all the values find out T d okay. and then uh, and see whether this T d you are getting close to your T r okay, the initial guess this one. Okay. So, this one and this one just compare. So, they are not close right they are not not close. So, what you have to do you have to put this as initial guess and then repeat the uh, procedure. Okay. So, then you get the new value as I mean the final value is 1.66.44. So, this is the correct value 1.167.5 uh, minutes. So, then uh, compute infiltrated depth using that. So, you have to find out what is uh, Z naught. Okay. Since the infiltration depth Z naught 0 0.045 is less than 0 0.05 then it is a deficit irrigation okay, in case of deficit because Z naught uh, should be always more than the z required. So, uh, then the, since it is deficit irrigation and we have explained the procedure to redo the stuff. So, in case of deficit irrigation uh, you have to find out you have to increase the uh, time of cutoff. So, that the water infiltration at the head end is going to increase and that will uh, either equal or more than the z required. And uh, so, so, what we did T, T, TCO which is T d minus so find uh, 187.89 and that is 171.89 and 171 minutes and compute the average infiltration. So, now you put the T d value as T required right and find out uh, what is I. Okay, so, then after finishing the uh, infiltration depth Okay, infiltration rate and then compute S y okay, and compute T r and now uh, compute Z L. So, if you see this Z L, so Z L is uh, 0 0.0568 uh, meter okay, and then compute E A. So, that is application efficiency. So, your application efficiency will be 23.27 okay is 23.27 so for each combination so we have like five combination for each combination you have to find out uh, the application efficiency uh, and then uh, time of cutoff and then irrigation time okay so and see if you see star value star values or results initially deficit irrigation this is all deficit irrigations 
and then a double star. So, this is less than q min. Okay. So, we are not going to take this whereas, uh, so this combination okay, so that gives the maximum E a. Okay. So, this is also maximum, but, but the thing is this is a q we selected that is less than the q min. So, that is the reason we are not considering this combination. So, only the design solution is so this combination. So, number of borders 3, border width 200 and uh, unit flow rate 0.2 and TCO 174 and this one and irrigation time 8.71. Okay. So, like that we need to uh, design a border irrigation system. Okay. So, the next is the basin design. So, in the basin design uh, in this case the tail water we are not we are not going to run off. So, it's it is we are going to allow tail water to stagnant for some time. So, that it, it gets infiltrated down. Okay. So, the tail water uh, prevents it from exiting the field and resistant depletions are accomplished at the same time. So, resistant depletion phases finishes at the same time and nearly uniform over the entire basin and driving force on the flow is solely hydraulic slope of the uh, a water surface. So, whatever the water movement taking place that is solely the hydraulic slope. So, assumption 1 is so during the advanced phase the friction slope can be approximated by the inlet depth y naught divided by distance x in the direction of. So, this we, we are already familiar with. So, during the advanced phase what we s s f e equal to y naught by x. So, when q naught is known y naught can be estimated using Manning's equation. Okay, and assumption 2 immediately upon uh, cessation of inflow the water surface assumes a horizontal orientation and we infiltrates vertically. Okay. So, once upon so once you cut off so once you cut off what happen so this is the flow taking place. Okay. So, the water surface assumes a horizontal so in border it assumes a horizontal flow. Okay and it infiltrates uniformly down vertically down at the same time. Okay. So, and the next is the basin irrigation uh, assumption 3 the irrigation depth to be applied at the downstream end of the basin which is equal to the required depth of water at the root zone. So, this is an assumption 3. So, what we do at the field and if this is z required. Okay. So, this is our criteria we need to wet the whole field based on the z required value. So, time of cutoff uh, is estimated using this equation uh, sorry this equation. So, this is the time of advance plus the so time required during time required uh, 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 which, uh, which is told this is time of advance and time which is required uh, to deplete the storage uh, down to the field. Okay, that is sigma y 0 0.77, 0 0.8 in case of application efficiencies should be maximum. So, these are the field parameters we, we are familiar with you can go through this. Uh, so, the next is so basin irrigation system design almost uh, uh, I said similar to furrow irrigation again. Okay, so, the steps are almost similar. So, collect information field characteristics and everything just like uh, border and uh, uh, furrow and determine the maximum allowable non aeration flow rate using same equation select q naught uh, close to q max and compute in inflow uh, depth using Manning's equation. Okay. And then uh, and then compute the advance time. So, here if you remember uh, the uh, furrow irrigation case we have two points one at the field end one at the middle end. So, uh, the field and first uh, for a particular you know r value or b value. So, we assume that this is uh, following uh, a power advance curve okay, power advance curve which is uh, a b or in some case r. So, whatever it may be. So, if you have power advance curve. So, for a particular r value okay, so find out uh, t l and t l by 2. Okay. So, waterfront advance at the field and waterfront advance the middle point. So, t two points you can uh, get okay. and then uh, find out. So, once you have these two, 
two points and find out the new R value. If the new R value close to 0 0.5, right, uh, then these are the actual or the theoretical values T L and T L by 2. Otherwise, you have to modify this, you have to increase uh, or initial guess needs to be changed and recalculate T L and T L by 2. So, the same procedure we are going to use uh, in case of basin irrigation. So, remember this the T L okay, and, and similarly let us go to the next step. Okay. Let us see, oh, I am sorry and then so once you have two points and compute, uh, compute this R value right and you are going to find out whether this R is close, close to your uh, this value or not and initial R value or not. So, once it is close, so once it is close, so then you are you, you are you are good with your T L and T L by 2 and then you have to calculate T C O right. So, which is irrigation required by satisfying the end of the basin. If T C O is greater than uh, less than or equal to T L uh, then so, T C O uh, so you have to uh, assign T C O to T L then T C O is calculated as Z required into L 0.7. So, just like we did in uh, uh, basin irrigation and compute application efficiency similar to that and determine other possible basin configuration Q naught and repeat the steps 5 to through configuration selecting a given maximum E. Okay. Yes, so I think this is all. Uh, so, in this lecture basically we, we focused on uh, irrigation of border. Uh, irrigation uh, sorry design of border de design of uh, basin. So, uh, and design of furrow. So, if you compare all these three designs in the furrow irrigation we, we uh, neglected the recession and depletion phases in basin uh, uh, irrigation. So, what we assume is uh, the recession and depletion uh, instantaneously you know uh, the two phases instantaneously happen uh, whereas, in uh, border irrigation. So, we consider depletion recent phases and we have the equations, we have the procedure how to design that. So, um, so with this we finish the design of border, uh, furrow and basin irrigations. Okay. And we have uh, the, the next lecture is on tutorials, we are going to see an example of for basin irrigation and then a few um, workout examples in that. Thank you.